guys, welcome to the vlog. Just got back from a monster food shop and we haven't done one in ages, so check it out. Actually an insane amount of food. I barely managed to fit everything in, but let's get into it. So guys, this is a family shop, but I'm gonna start with the kind of fresh fruit and veg type things because I'll be eating pretty much all that and then some of the other stuff is a bit extraneous, but it should still be interesting to show. So we've got clementines, a load of different fruits, so blackberries, strawberries, you know how we do blueberries, tomatoes, peppers, lemons, bananas, just an assortment of random different salad stuff. So we got cauliflower, lettuce, thin asparagus as always, parsley, I think there's some coriander floating about, tender stem, always nicer than the kind of traditional, God, I've actually, I've actually got to try and wade through this stuff, man. I can't believe how much food we got. Pecans. Uh, that's dark chocolate that's, or cooking chocolate, actually. It's probably for my dad. Green beans. Risotto rice. Having a family meal tomorrow. Caster sugar. Olive oil. I haven't really, to be honest, I've been slacking on like having different types of oil, like rapeseed or grapeseed or whatever, but. Just been going on the olive oil at the moment. Also got some of this Sunpat crunchy peanut butter. Trying to keep that down at the moment because I don't really want high calories. I'm not even going to get into that. I have no idea what that is. Uh, got some Omega 3. Try to keep on top of the fish oil. This is not for me but some little uh, little treats for the fam. Little treats. We've got jazz apples. One of my top list of apples. Bull apples. Good little snack. Melon, I don't like melon for the record, but whatevs. We've got some Greek yogurt. We've actually already got three in the fridge. This was an accidental purchase. Uh, coffee, not for me. Actually looks quite nice though. Is that coffee? I think that's coffee. Cocoa powder. Oh, it's cocoa powder. Oh, well, disregard that people, that is cocoa powder. We've got tea, again, that's not for me. Mayo, double because it's on offer. Sometimes buy two things. Got. This, again, family meal scenario. haagen is probably my favorite brand of ice cream. And then I saw these, I've never actually tried it. This is protein ice cream and it's a lot less calories. So gonna give that a go at some point and see how that goes. Don't think it will probably be like a regular purchase, but fancy trying it. Again, family stuff, just crisps. Milk, I don't really drink that. Uh, butter, a few different types of cheese. Better goats, olives, won't touch them with a barge pole, might as well chuck them in the bin, horrible. Smoked salmon, tzatziki, so we're diving into the fridge a lot now. Uh, hummus, guacamole, so you've got your whole range of sauces. Half fat creme fraiche, I imagine that's family stuff too. Brr, my hand looks like a spider here. Lots of sausages, so we've got pork sausages. I've been smashing these for breakfast, back on the chicken sausages, had an extended period away from them. And there's some other different types of brand of sausages there. Almond milk, water, hydration is key. Little fridge snack, got the roast turkey, shreddy chicken, shreddy lamb steaks, shreddy. And then we're kind of moving into the carbs. Oh, as well, this, if you can find this if you're in the UK, this, for the calories, this chicken soup is the one, banging. So we've got some large eggs and then pretty much everything else is carbs. So I've started having this, to be honest, kind of out of sheer laziness because I can just have two uh, sachets. I don't have to weigh out oats and it's super quick, super easy. So this has kind of been my more convenience factor at the moment. Got some naans, again, family meal. I don't know if people eat naan bread in America. I guess they do. Um, that's not mine, kind of wish it was, looks quite nice, but it's more of a lunch thing. Potatoes, I eat a lot of potatoes, starchy. Um, just real easy and filling and tasty. And then we've got some wholemeal pitters and rye bread. Well done if you managed to stick through all that. That was a serious lot of food. Anyway, on with the day. Time is about half 11, guys. I think I'm gonna be working out in about an hour, basically. The boxing gym I go to is having like an open day. So they're trying to get all the members to go down, support it, try to get new people in. They'll probably do some like exhibition sparring. I know head coach Steve is doing like continuous rounds. So I think he's doing like four hours straight training, like 
treadmill bags barring literally anything but it has to be like continuous so I don't know if he even gets rests I'm not sure but so I'm gonna go support that and hopefully get some cool footage for you guys so I'm just getting in my pre-training snack I've already had today my usual breakfast so this is gonna kind of keep me going and then I'll probably have something small like late like three o'clock when I get back so we're going some of this breaded ham and then some rye bread peanut butter I've already had an M piece but M pieces don't count as well in the last vlog I showed the fulfill protein bar said it was my favorite Callum aka former blob who's been on the channel before if you've seen has recommended these to me so I'm gonna try it out I saw it couldn't resist picking it up I've heard mixed reviews about the brand in terms of like I think they do like weird pre-workouts and stuff but the macros aren't bad it's got 23 protein 1.5 sugar 217 calories not too bad let's give it a whirl it's actually pretty good to be fair um as protein bars go it tastes a bit like a protein bar though if you've had one you know what i mean but um it's pretty good it's a bit a little bit dry it's not as good guys i'm sticking with my guns i'm sticking with the home team if you're gonna have a protein bar fulfill Try for Phil, I promise you. It's okay though, this is uh, co cookies and cream. If you can see that, cookies and cream. Right peeps, time to get a move on. Uh, today, I would normally be doing jiu-jitsu training. That's normally my Saturday vibe, get up and go straight to jiu-jitsu. But I think they only do this open day like once a year, so I felt like I should really go. Um, so I'm just gonna do one big workout today. I'm gonna kind of mix things up, try to get a bit of variety in there and then have a chill one tomorrow because I don't really like tomorrow I'm tomorrow is Sunday sorry so today is Saturday tomorrow I'll just be like I normally have that as like a run and maybe I might do some physical stuff tomorrow but I'll probably just go for a jog because basically I've been running a lot um just kind of medium low intensity and I, I just have this thing where I don't really, if possible, I do sometimes do it. I don't like to do the same, this is probably why I like MMA. I don't like doing the same thing two days in a row. So I've been running a lot. I ran Thursday, Friday, so I don't really want to run again later. So I'll run tomorrow and just do a big, like, almost like super session today. Um, quite a lot of the times when I go to boxing is when... Uh, I normally only do one session because I try to save myself for it. Um, so there should be a lot going on. As always, check this out, guys. This is the life. We got the monster. All of a sudden, this has become a thing I never even used to drink, and I've had three all of a sudden this week. So we're going to be sipping on that, get some energy, and because the timings are weird and stuff, like it's currently 12. I don't think I'm going to get home until like 3 or something. So. We're going to see how it goes, but anyway, I shall see you there. Right, peeps, made it despite some dirty traffic. Beautiful day. August cannot seem to make its mind up. One second it's showering, the next second it's boiling. But uh, at the gym now, fought for a bit of context. Ooh, avoiding some thorns there. Fought for a bit of context. I'd kind of show you uh, where the gym is. So it's on like this. It's like an industrial estate. I don't know if it's the same in like other countries and stuff, but a lot of the time in England, because of like, I guess for renting that, you get a lot more money. So quite a lot of the time it's in like a warehousey type vibe, which I quite like to be fair. All right guys, in now, super busy. Never seen it so busy. It is an open day though. So I'll give you a quick show around the gym. Smaller ring, go Steve, sparring some. Young, big United fan. The big ring too, the big ring. Got all the bags. Fitness studio through there, and then got more bags.
popped into the gym and before I've got my warm up and everything, it's super busy so I'm going to try and find a bit of space to do my thing, but I ran into Mike from the uh, from Tsunami Gym who trains with me and John and that. I thought I'd introduce him because he's, he's appeared on the vlog if you keep an eye out, sorry if it's a bit noisy, but um, and people before and stuff like have said, oh who's that guy, semi famous Mike. And he's got a bit of a different style and stuff, so I thought I'd just get his debut in quickly and I'd just ask him a few questions. So, just introduce yourself, Mike. How old are you? How long have you been training? What do you train in? Do you have any goals? Just because I wanted to put in like a younger person's perspective, like in the last vlog, I tried to get in coaches' perspectives. Obviously, I'm kind of doing my thing at my stage, so just like, I thought it'd be cool to get a young guy in, so. Uh, I'm uh, Michael Witherspoon, I'm 17 years old. Uh, I started karate when I was uh, 7 years old, I uh, showed to count karate. Uh, from that, I just got interested in fighters like uh, Nero Tomachigo, who was a show to count black belt, uh, and I liked his style, and just from there, I just wanted to get into Style, so uh, I walked by the tsunami one day and really liked it, learned the look of it, started training and uh, from there, yeah, I just, I just want to start an amateur and just go from there and see where it goes. Yeah. And you're, you're at college and stuff at the moment? Uh, yeah, or? I'm uh, studying A levels at uh, Hills Road. Um, so yeah, just trying to fit that in as well. Really. Right guys, anyway, enough blabbing, time to get on my own training. Tuesday my spot at least 10, kickboxing, Wednesday did it 8, boxing and today I've done like 8. It's all coming together, it's going well. Uh, i show you a bit of John's bar and John's just rocked up, Coach John.
Mason, one of the Tsunami Guy Vets, head coach of BKK. I train under him sometimes, go wrestle and stuff. He's training too, so I'll show you a bit of him boxing. John and Jack actually helped Idris Elba, who did a Discovery Channel documentary for his kickboxing. He did like an amateur kickboxing fight and a pro kickboxing fight, if anyone's ever seen that. And they actually helped him train for that, so pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to finish up my session and I'll catch up with you guys after. Right guys, all done training now. Time is half three. Finished at about three o'clock, but then just chilled out and stuff. Pretty tired, man. I felt pretty good for the whole thing, you know, had that pre-workout drink and stuff, obviously. Um, carried me through well but the, it's hot it's a hot day and uh, the gym because obviously it hasn't got AC or anything it's like a warehouse top floor so heat rises all that business so it's a good hot session ended up getting in about I want to say maybe 11 rounds or something which puts me at about about maybe just under 30 for the week 30 rounds of uh, sparring also just found out so John is headlining card Brad Pickett show um, at the end of the month, 30th of September, and I had been hoping to do that, but the card's actually full up, so I'm not going to get on that. So just thinking about like future plans and stuff, I think now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait till November. I think November 12th is when the World Championships start, so that's just like I don't. If I go for a fight later, like in October, obviously could go swimmingly, but could get injured even winning like a fight do you know what i mean so the smart thing to do is just completely focus on that i've gone into tournaments and stuff like um banged up and stuff before in this one i want to be fresh like so i'm i want to put my all into it it's my last tournament i have to give it everything the first tournament i ever did i kind of went to see where i was at obviously i wanted to win but i went to see where i was at kind of found out made improvements for the next one got more experience and I thought I could win the next one, obviously I didn't, but um, again, my mini goal, like I said before in previous vlogs, was to do better than I did last time. This one, I truly believe if everything goes to plan, I'm in with a shot of winning, like I, I think I can win it. Again, I want to do better than last time, I don't want to do the weight cut anymore, and it's the World Championship, it's not just the European, but yeah, that has to be my main focus, so kind of good for my weight I guess because again I'm like 84.3 so I would have had a month today four weeks to um get down onto weight for if I had been fighting which is I would have done it do you know what I mean I'm gonna make weight but um it kind of takes the pressure off a bit and like before I, I was having a lot of fights in that but if I want to do well in this tournament which obviously I do, I really think this is going to be my best one, then I'm expecting to have a fair number of fights. The so last time I had three fights in the last tournament, the first one I had two, so if I want to win and I don't get a bye, it's, got, it's going to be four to five fights. That's my aim, looking at the long term, and the more time I've got, so that's about, I guess, like eight to ten weeks away, maybe ten weeks away, um... So I can just keep getting my weight down. I'm in my new routine and everything too. So I kind of feel like I've adapted well to that now. But it takes the pressure off. Anyway, a lot of training. Got to get home now. Hopefully this traffic isn't sin again. So see you back at the crib. Alright guys, back now. It is about half four. Going to have a small snack because dinner is at six apparently. So having an early dinner today. But I'm hungry. My legs have gone a little bit. So... Excuse the presentation, it's very hard to fit stuff into a pitta, but we've got a wholemeal pitta, turkey, cheese, avocado, tomato, dos, and then got the leftover bits on the side, plus some cucumber. He always comes, when there's food, he emerges, the lion cat, the myth, 
The legend. And this is what I mean. He jumped onto a chair. And Jeremy, go on. You can have a little bit. Oh. <laughs> you can have that. It's turkey. That's like Tesco finest turkey. This cat is a king. Only kings eat like kings. Get that protein in, kid. <laughs> Get some of the table too while you're at it. I'm going to keep it real with you guys too. Always try to keep it real on this channel. On the way home, I did stop and get a little treat for tonight. I've been staring at these in fascination because every day I go to the M&S and the BP for work. And I try to buy healthy stuff. I've been staring at these for like five weeks. I haven't had one yet. As I won't be fighting in a month's time, we're going to dive in gonna have a little bit not now later on share it with the fam I'm getting way too excited over this is not a big deal but chocolate donuts man I swear to god chocolate and donuts it's just for me this cat I like you give him a bit you don't want donuts you j I know you don't like donuts he eats cheese now he eats anything he's a machine Funny story about Freckles, he was actually notorious around the village because he used to, oh my god, because he, uh, he used to go into people's houses apparently and steal their food a bit, back when he had four legs, back when he wasn't uh, disabled, but I don't know why he's trying to eat my donuts. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'm absolutely dead, so I'm going to go and have a lie down, so I'll catch you at dinner. Alright guys, so we've got a tasty dinner, we've got a curried rolled rib of beef, there's a tongue twister for the day, some steamed rice, some mixed veggies, and some garlic naan. Dinner was good guys, but it's time for the main event. Whoa. Rated GAF. Had two guys and had to follow up with the pastry. Final thing guys, we're trying the protein ice cream for this 100 gram serving, only 85 calories, 8 grams of protein, like 0.4 sugar. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see what it tastes like though. Ugh, verdict guys, after finishing the whole thing, give it like a... I don't know if it's just because I'm not hungry or what, but I, <laughs> I pretty much ate that to taste test it for the vlog. Kind of justifying my greed there. But um, I got about a quarter or halfway through and I thought, I don't need this, even though it was only a little pot but you can taste like the like the way ice look like it's a little bitter i think it's like soya too i'd give it like a compared to normal ice cream i guess for a protein ice cream it's not bad but compared to normal ice cream it's gonna be like a 5.5 to 6 tops maybe anyway enough ice cream reviews with me i hope you've enjoyed the video please pop it a like i'm just gonna chill out and i'll see you in the next one peace <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,